And this is clearly a world the chromatic horror has been to. Which also means its defenses are severely weakened. Also, what? Into our territory. Okay. For a moment, it seemed that we had ships here. Let's steal an experimental ship line and go for the Angelic Ward. It's already Mark V because of all our upgrades in force field tech. This is going to put us short on hacking points, maybe. But I can just go down here and harvest a couple more. We are close to getting done with the science points here. And we are also getting more science points down here. Well, it's not like we are stagnating or anything. Couple of Venators. Oh, Cyclopean and Elderlings. The AI type here has switched to now be whatever AI type uses Elderlings. I hear it's not exactly um, easy. Fleet number three, just take out the data center as well. Which is going to put us at the AIP floor, slightly below it. Well, not really below it, but get what I mean now. Why control crews are doing what the Y control crews are does best. Also, all of my sniper ships, how about you focus down on the FDRs before we get overrun? want anything else. I think upgrading Do we want to upgrade maybe one of our fleets. I think that might be the biggest Oh and the Dark Zenith invasion has begun now. Do we see their plans? Yes we do. And they are down here. Also the chromatic horror where are you going next? Okay, we haven't even remotely seen one of these planet names, so I don't care. It's probably somewhere very far away. Corn grip. Okay, yeah, it's going somewhere down here. I don't care about that. I really don't care. Dark Zenith have spawned far away from us. Oh, the sphere is annoyed. What ships do we... Oh, probably a couple of ships moving through. Yeah. Couple of ships moving a through. Cell has the AI. They probably are using this as a shortcut instead of going through all these planets. And someone annoyed a brutal guardian sphere, or well, we must be annoying a brutal guardian Resistance sphere, and it's probably somewhere around here. Yeah, under these circumstances, fleet number three, get going. We need to start moving away. This is the only world that I can see where we could even remotely be annoying one, which means that Caliban here, just quickly going to, where is that here? No, that's not the right one. This is the right one. I'm going to put a danger tag on this world because I don't think there's, there's no other wormhole out. So there must be a brutal guardian there here. There has to be, effectively. Okay. Fleet number one. Everyone just go. These are moving in about a minute. And once they have arrived here, I don't think we will have any sort of problem. Can't destroy you, can I? Now hopefully, yeah, the lair is now inactive. You guys should be warping out. These worlds are getting hot with the Dark Spire. Yes. Incoming resistance transmission. Sorry. Okay. All of you, get moving. We need more power on this world. We are really going in for the kill. With the reduced hacking point cost, I think we can actually do at least two hacks, if not all three.
and we need more energy again. Oh, hang on. We already built all of those here and here, so now this world is the next one with converters. At least with a lot of converters. Let's just build four for the moment. The Anti-Dark Spire Coalition. Is there? Yeah, we have a couple of journals. We should read those. It's currently dismantling a Dark Spire Venture Generator on a planet. Richie, okay. So they are already dismantling this one, which means maybe, just maybe, we don't need to dis heck to destroy it. They do need like 20 minutes to do so. And the hacks won't last 20 minutes, let's be honest. They last 30 seconds. And this then lasts, what is this, 6 minutes. So maybe we just don't spend these hacking points and enjoy having the coalition destroy it for us. Who is the coalition? Well, let's see. There probably is a tag about, uh, not a tag, a journal about this. Dark Spire, conquest mode enabled. Commander, we're detecting some major new energy surges from Dark Spire, from the Dark Spire Vengeance generators. It looks like they are responding to their Dark Alliance allies. It looks like Vengeance generators are now generating small amounts of energy even when things aren't dying nearby. Also, it looks like they are going to try and build new Vengeance generators more often. Thankfully, since these new generators are being warped in so quickly, they lack Thankfully, since these new generators are being warped in so quickly, they lack the invulnerability of other bench generators. Fimble Winter. Commander of the Dark Zenith are... We probably should read about the Dark Zenith first. Commander, we've detected a massive dimensional shift. It looks like several planets from another universe have suddenly come into proximity with ours, close enough to allow the wormhole grids to align. Our sensors are picking up extremely strong energy signatures. Pre pre bah, preliminary analysis shows similarities to Zenith energy, but it's not an exact match to the relics we've been finding. Our scientists are calling them Dark Zenith. Based on the differences, yeah, based on the differences they are finding in the emission spectra, we are not quite sure what these Dark Zenith are up to. But from the amount of energy they are putting out, it looks like some major incursion. If they are functional zenith rather than just derelicts, rather than just the derelicts we found to date, we are in for a difficult war. Our zenith expert asked me to pass along the message to you. She seemed to be chanting, and I have no idea how to s how to vocalize these things, these letters. Then Fimble Winter. Commander, the Dark Zenith are terraforming, or should that be Zeniforming, planets in our universe to be more suitable for their civilization. These are terrifying alterations that speed up the Dark Zenith and their allies on the planet and slow down their enemies. It seems they intend to do this to every planet they encounter. If they Zeniform too many planets, we won't have anywhere left to live, even if we survive the war. We can still build command stations in orbit, but the planet themse plants themselves will be useless for colonization or industrial purposes. Our scientists are referring to the transformation of the planet as Fimble Winter. Let's hope we can stop this invasion before our scientists start mentioning Ragnarok. <laughs> I like that. Now, the splintering spire, the coalition. Commander, you may have heard the news about the recent awakening of the Dark Spire menace into a new galactic threat level, a new galactic level threat. While we were brainstorming the best way to deal with this, a number of our scouts pick, picketed throughout the galaxy reported the same thing. A number of ships uh, produced by the various Dyson spheres in our galaxy have apparently managed to call a ceasefire with each other, and uh, more interest, more impressively, the AI and are branding no are banding together in what we could best translate into the anti dark spire coalition so all the dyson spheres of various types our scouts report that this does not appear to have stifled the regular unit production that we have grown accustomed to from these spheres and that these forces are acting independently of their home spheres desires the coalition seems to only care about the Dark Spire menace and otherwise and will otherwise leave factions alone. Banding together with their strike forces may allow us to t make headway where we would otherwise struggle doing to do so. 
and then the dismantling. Commander, the coalition units on Ritchie have begun the slow process of dismantling the vengeance generator on the planet. We detect raising energy signatures from the Dark Spire in response to this and should prepare accordingly. Good thing we have a boatload of turrets here. It may be in our best interest to assist the coalition on their actions to more swiftly clear the galaxy of this threat. Yes. And most importantly, the coalition is assisting us in our endeavors to spend at as few hacking points as we need to, to get stuff done. Now the angelic ward is already built. Nice. Also since we have an adjacent world and we have settled this planet, we are getting very, very good assists and unit rebuilding. So, oh wow, there's even more wormholes opening up here. I'm asking myself if I should leave like a battle station here or something. In a way, I definitely don't want the battle stations on this plant anyway, because when they get crippled, the turrets shut down. But that also means that, well, it would kind of be bad if the battle station gets, well, not really attacked, but destroyed probably more than anything else just here. Also, since we have a good amount of firepower on this world, we should be building the harmonic turrets, actually. We have the energy to do so. This is the only world, world that the AI can reasonably attack through somewhere around here. I saw the phoenix, but now it's gone already. Also, the wave here. Ooh, I'm scared. Actually, these... These are Templar ships. Nice. Okay, it's time for Fleet 2 to get going. It's time to get going and do some damage to the Dark Spire and get off with a lot of ships. Also, what is in here? Ooh, more Magnet Wards or Tackle Drone Launchers. Or oh, Ablative Artillery, which is also not bad. Viral Shred as the base variant, I don't really care about. We don't go in that direction of tech. Spheres periodically getting annoyed because we are moving ships through here. But I don't care. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just move here and then unload, if you haven't already. We also have crystals and all that sort of stuff here. And I'm expecting this vengeance generator to go absolutely nuts in the future. But I'm also expecting our firepower to absolutely go nuts in the future. Now this needs another about 300 seconds to be done. What techs would we want to invest into? We are getting more alien ships, so that is coming up. Also, have they built another... What's it called? Sestra, I believe? Not as far as I can tell, those are just ships. I'm itching to take more. Oh, here is one that we could just take for ourselves because, oh, this is actually very interesting. I think this is still worth getting diverted because we may benefit. We, we will benefit most definitely from doing these hacks very close together and using this in a good amount of time. Also, Arkis and Cassadia. Let's see if we even have vision on these worlds. Was it with K? No, with uh, C. Ah, that's this one. Okay. We don't have a vision on it, but there's coalition forces. And Cassidia. No, Cassida. We don't have vision on that. At least not yet. Yeah. So they are eroding some of the bench generators, but we will inevitably get more of them. Now, another question that I'm asking myself is, should we even try with the Dark Spire now building more of those that we can hack? Should we even hack those repeatedly if it costs more? 